Hello friends, a very warm welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about another defense company. So this sector has been into the limelight for almost a year or two now. The government also has a lot of focus on this sector, which is helping the companies operating in this industry to do well. Their order pipeline is very strong. And going forward also, the spend of the government in the coming budget, at least for the next 5 to 10 years, is going to be handsome in the defense sector. So one stock from this sector should be a part of your portfolio, at least for this decade. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. And if you are not a part of our Telegram channel, do join today by clicking the link in the description button so that you join the correct Telegram channel. Every day morning before the market opens, I share my views on the market, which will help you get better returns for your portfolios. So let's talk about Zen Technologies in this video. This will be the flow of our discussion. We'll start with understanding the business model in brief. It's a very simple business model. When we look at the chart, the stock performance in the last few years, we'll see the main financial highlights. We'll talk about the reasons for the increase in the stock price in the recent times. What is the outlook of the management going forward? What is the present valuations of the stock? What are the risks of investing in this company? Then after understanding all these things, we'll form an overall view on this company. So Zen Technologies was started in 1996. It is mainly into two different businesses. The first one is they are into simulation. So they make simulation equipments or systems which helps the armed forces to get training as good as the using the actual equipments. So the government cannot afford to use the actual weapons for training people as it's a costly affair. So as a preliminary training mechanism, they use simulators to train the armed forces. So this company is the market leader in India in making those equipments or systems. And a new segment which they have developed is anti-drone systems. So as you know, in the recent Russia-Ukraine war also, the main technology which is being used is the unmanned aerial systems or the drones technology. So a country which is not fully equipped with an anti-drone system today is unsafe from a defense perspective. So this company is making those for India as well as their customers abroad. So when they are selling these things, they also do the annual maintenance and they get a small portion of their revenue from the AMC also. It's a research driven technology company and that's why they develop and register patents for their products. If you look at the bifurcation of the revenue, in FY24, they got about 33 crores of their revenue from AMC and majority of the revenue, which is about 397 crores from their sale of products. In terms of domestic versus exports, if you compare around 80 crores was the revenue from exports and around 316 from the sale in the domestic market. The R&D spend has been rising over the last five years. Last year, they spent about 19 crores on research and development. And this year, they spent about 24.5 crores. When you look at the stock performance in the prior to COVID, the stock was in a consolidated range for a very long time. But post COVID, as the results improved and the order book grew, the stock has given a massive rally up to a zone of about 1400 to 1500 range. And still it is trading in the all time high zone at around 1296. So the stock has seen a steep rally and created huge wealth for its shareholders in the last two to three years. Revenue pre COVID was about 150 crores and it dipped to about 55 crores during the COVID year. And gradually it has increased to almost 440 crores in FY24. A similar pattern you will see in EBITDA also pre COVID it was 63 crores, which dipped to as low as 5 crores post COVID and now it has seen a jump to almost 181 crores in FI24. So EBITDA margin compressed to as low as 7% in FI22, it's 7% not 67%, which increased to almost 41% in FI24. But going forward, the management is guiding for an EBITDA margin of around 35%. The promoter holding is around 55%, which is decent as of now. But in case the company plans to raise further funds going forward, this can get diluted if the promoters don't contribute to the fundraising in the equal proportion. The company has a lot of money tied up in the working capital. The inventory days are as high as 523 days. So they maintain inventory of more than one year and data days of almost 153 days. So this is some issue which we should keenly look at in this company. The company should get more efficient in maintaining their working capital. Now what led to the rise in the stock price? The sales expanded. As you saw, the profits also expanded in terms of margin as well as the absolute figures. The sector came into limelight, which led to the re-rating of the multiple. And the company being a tech company, they developed anti-drone uh, systems, which also led to the re-rating in the stock. The government has also supported this sector, which led to the growth in the order book. And the company already has a good visibility in the orders for the next couple of years. So all these factors led to the rise in the share price in the last two, three years. Now, what is the growth outlook of the management going forward? They have an order book of almost 1400 crores already. And this gives them the confidence of guiding for a 
revenue of around 900 plus crores in FY25. In terms of margins also, they are expecting healthy margins of about 35% at EBITDA level and 25% at PAT level. And post FY25, the growth will continue in a CAGR of 50%, which is again very impressive to reach about 2000 crores in FY27. So looking at these numbers, as an investor, you should feel very confident, but at the same time, you should watch for the execution, which is in line with these numbers or not. Now, when you look at the breakup of the order book in terms of domestic versus export, it is about 965 crores for domestic and remaining for exports. And in terms of uh, simulator as well as anti drone system, simulators is about 790 crores and around 600 crores is for anti drone systems. The company wants to continue their investment in R&D and they have new products which are in the pipeline which they are expecting uh, to announce soon after they get the required approvals and they are quite positive on the success and the size of market of the new products. They will continue to focus on exports as the margins are higher in other countries. They are open to acquiring new companies in the defense sector. They will continue to scale the AMC business so that it matches their fixed cost. And they are also open to tying up with other OEMs and manufacturing on their behalf. So considering all these different streams of uh, revenue and focus areas of the company, the future looks bright for the company. Now, when you talk about the valuations, the stock has become pricey. It is trading at a PE of about 86 times and a price to book of almost 53 times. So the margin of safety is very less. The market cap to sales has gone up to almost 24x. So if you are a conservative investor, this kind of investment doesn't suit you. Now, what is the risk of investing in this company? Other than the valuations part, it is a lumpy business. It can do well for a couple of years. It may not do well after that if the orders go down. If the government changes its policies, it can drastically impact this business. If some new technology comes and their anti drone system becomes obsolete, it can drastically impact their business. They continue to manage their working capital poorly, then that can become a hindrance for their growth. And order book is fine, but execution also should be in line with the orders and the growth targets which the company is given shall be executed perfectly. So these are the challenges for the company going forward. So now that you have understood the business model of the company, the growth prospects, the valuations, the financial numbers, the risks of investing, what is the overall view on the stock? If you are already invested in this company from lower levels, you should continue to hold because the company is having visibility of growth for the next two to three years already. But if you are looking as a fresh investment, the valuations at these levels are not having much margin of safety. So you should wait for a correction in the stock get some comfort and then accumulate it gradually. Do remember to track the execution of the company, the order book of the company and the working capital management of the company going forward if you are invested in this company. So that's about Zen Technologies. I hope you like this simple and crisp video which I have made. I have tried to cover all the important points in just about 8 to 10 minutes. If you like the video, hit the like button and do share it with your friends on WhatsApp. If you want me to make more videos on your favorite stocks, do mention the name in the comment section. Do join our Telegram channel using the link in the description button to be in touch with me on a daily basis. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.